Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave, and I would say I'm here with Beverly Down. And hello, <laughs> hi. But uh, you are not you. Who are you right now? By the way, you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I've been holding back my compliments for the camera, <laughs> but holy cow! So who are you? Thank you so much. I am Lucifer Morningstar, dude. Um, these wings are something. Oh my god. They they. Okay, talk to me about this costume. When did <laughs> well, you when did you become obsessed and decide to had to make it? Uh, about seven months ago. Honestly, a, a friend of mine made the uh, the white gown version of this for a convention in uh, in September last year, and then I really loved her wings, and I really wanted to make the other costume that this character wears during the, the counterpoint. Show. Yes, yes. Um, so I was obsessed with the with the coat. Thankfully, the costume designer um, posted a couple of pictures of the front and the back, which was amazing. So I could see, but uh, I, I only saw the front for a long time, and then I finished my mock-up, and then I saw a picture of the back, so I had to redo the whole thing. I love costume designers on Instagram. Yes. I learned so <laughs> much from just that. Yeah. Um, talk to me about this. These these shoulders are incredible. Okay, these sleeves are, are kind of ridiculous. <laughs> They're amazing. I think I did probably seven mock-ups just to get this uh, because it's very the structure of it is very different from a normal sleeve. Um, Which is in and of itself sleeves. the hardest problem of oh, an upper sleeves. body. Sleeves, <laughs> sleeves are terrible. I have the hardest time with sleeves, so I took my time and I, I made a bazillion mock-ups um, and. Uh, then I had to find the right fabric because this is, I think in the in the movie they or in the show they use a faux leather or probably real leather. Mm -hmm. um, it looks really thin. So this is actually upholstery um, PVC. Sure. So um, it's when very heavy. <laughs> when you're mocking up something for upholstery yeah. PVC, do you mock it up in muslin or do you mock it up in something with a heavier weight? Well, I first started with muslin, sure. so I could just get the shape and make sure that it would fit around yeah. me. Um, and then I actually used a. I'm, I'm a hoarder and I keep everything, especially packaging that comes from places. Oh. So I we had a really a couple of really large uh, gifts that arrived in huge Amazon bags yeah. uh, that were kind of like a velvety touch. They're kind of papery. Yeah. Uh, so I saved those from you know six or seven years ago. So it was perfect because it was really structured. So I could get the I could really see the the sleeves for where I needed it to be. And I want to hone in on this because. <laughs> I'm guessing that the reason you saved them, it would be the same reason I would save them, is you touched it and thought, if I had to find this fabric, I would have trouble. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. and so you just put it away because like yep. that kind of I'm weight and that this. kind of lightness mm -hmm. and the fact that it's free. Yes. Uh, did you cut the bags open and roll them up? And uh, No, I just folded them up. Okay. Because <laughs> I never knew, like maybe I'll yeah. need this part of the bags. Um, but uh, it, yeah, it was really easy to cut and sew together. And so I had a structured jacket that looked great. <laughs> okay. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then something happened with the patterning. And when you translate a, a mock-up to the actual final pattern, sometimes there's, you know, something that doesn't. Because this is very different fabric. This doesn't really drape. It doesn't drape. It doesn't move. Right. Right. So right. you have to, you have to do all the draping in the in the actual mechanical design. Right. Yes. So there was no chaos building with this. This was very... Very careful, carefully uh, <laughs> constructed, um, and I uh, I did a lot of firsts with this. I've never really used a rotary cutter for fabric. Oh before, wow! But this is the best way to cut these out. Um, and uh, let's tell see. me exactly because I have rotary cutters because yeah. I'm always seeing that everyone yeah. uses them for fabric. What did it give you that scissors don't give you for this material? Uh, really smooth motion, so I could put my whole body into cutting. Getting a good curve, right? That, oh. Yeah. So uh, so the, and I just wanted everything to be very exact. I can only cut one one piece at a time. You can't really fold this fabric in half and cut two pieces at the same time because it's too thick. So I needed everything to be perfectly, perfectly the same. Yeah. So yeah, the rotary two, uh, cutter was really great for that. And it's better on my wrist. Oh, have, fair you know, enough. Arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> We're all getting older. <laughs> it's getting yes. harder. Um, Oh my God, it's so great. Uh, this this puff in the sleeves, when you translated from the pattern to the real thing, was did that did that fall apart and have to be re? Um, a couple of times yeah. um, because, uh, you know, the fabric is a little bit different than the Amazon bag. Mm -hmm. um, this will is kind of puckering a little bit. Oh, look, this one's behaving. <laughs> do I have something in there? Oh, I do have something in there. Oh, a little something. Yeah, so I have a little <clears throat> bit of, um, I think, what's in there? Foss shape. Batting or? I have a little foss shape, foss shape in there. Okay. Yeah, just to give it a little bit of uh, structure. Oh, and I did not put it in this one, which you can <laughs> you can tell. I'm now realizing I forgot to put that in there. Um, 
So yeah, it's a. Uh, Dude, your seam yeah. work is amazing. Thank you. I oh, and it's all lined. <gasps> lined. I know. Unnecessary and amazing. It's totally unnecessary. <laughs> I went. I went crazy. But you know what I was doing with this jacket? I was kind of putting a lot of work into something that I was already working on because I needed to start working on the wings. Oh, so you were procrastinating. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was procrastinating. It's like, I'm, I need to just do like one or two more days to perfect this part of the jacket and then I can start the wings. This is, I often do this. <laughs> I work on a thing while I'm gestating on the mm -hmm. other thing. Oh yeah. Um, so let's talk about the wings. Yes. These, they are so freaking gorgeous. Thank you. Um, uh, I, I tell you, on first glance, the thing that most surprises me is I don't see any seaming. It, they they look or, completely organic. I'm so glad you said that because <laughs> that's what I was hoping for. Um, it's, it's all EVA foam, and this was also another first for me for uh, for building something like this. And I didn't want any seams, so uh, the big challenge with this one was making sure that the first of all that it could fit in a, a golf bag so that I could travel with it. Oh wow! So. That's brilliant. You're designing it already with the understanding that it's got to leave the house yes. and how. Yeah, I want to take it because it's it's amazing. It's my favorite costume now, so <laughs> I want to bring it places. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I made the uh, I made the frame first, and then put it in my husband's golf bag, which is my golf bag now. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. I have to get him another one, uh, and made a couple of adjustments just to factor in the uh, extra EVA foam length that would be in here. Um, and then I tested it again when it was all done, and thankfully, thankfully it all fit after I completed everything. So tell me about hiding the seams. Tell me about what you what you did. To, I mean, it really just feels like a piece of flesh. It just is incredible, and it also looks, it looks like leather. It looks like a '89 Keaton Bat Cape leather. Thank you. That was. <laughs> That was also what I was going for, but I wanted them to be really super uh, lightweight. Also, I'm very stubborn. If I decide I want to use a certain material, yeah. I will try everything I can to to, to figure out how to make that work. Um, so they're, uh, they're triangular shapes mm -hmm. of EVA foam that are glued together. So it's just two millimeter EVA foam okay. glued together on the ends. Um, and then it's uh, kind of makes a little bat wing shape. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I covered the... All of these edges here, right? The, the bones, I guess, of the bat wing. So a bat has uh, his hand. So these spiky things. That's the thumb of the oh, bat. Oh, that's that's the bat's thumb. That's the thumb. thumb. And then their shoulders. Uh, this little part on the bottom is an elbow. Okay. Oh. Wow. And then it comes up into fingers. So these long parts are essentially fingers of a bat. So that was... You got a crash course in bat a, anatomy. Yeah, it was pretty neat. They're so cute too. Um, <laughs> I totally I love, agree. I bats. love bats. Um, so yeah, I covered all of the, uh, the... I used armature wire to make these... Make the bones? These, make the bones. So I covered everything in two millimeter, two millimeter EVA foam and then glued the EVA foam panels to the, to the spines of that. And then I covered the seams with a little EVA foam dowel. Nice. Um, like a half prints. dowel? Yeah, you can see. Yeah, yeah. You oh, can kind of okay. see it there. So the armature wire is, I was wondering, how did you do the bend and the bending if you're working with a flat form and the armature wire allows you to do that? Yeah. So you can actually put the armature wire in and get this whole wing built flat. Yes. And then sculpt it to the shape you need. Yes. Are you using super heavy duty armature wire back here? I have a quarter inch um, armature wire. That stuff. This stuff. Amazing. That's what's coming up the back here? Yeah. Just the, one? All of it. So it's actually three uh, okay. three of them together uh, on the uh, elbow and the, the shoulder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then two going up this way for the bigger part. And then yeah. one for the for the other smaller parts. Amazing. Yeah. But I really, I, I did not, another criteria besides fitting into a bag mm -hmm. was I didn't want to use PVC or, or PEX or, or anything like that. I wanted to be able to have a double... Um, Wanted to be able to move it around and bend it if I needed to, or rep reposition it if right, I wanted to. Right, right, right. So I can actually reposition these. Oh, to forward. come in. Yeah, right, right, you know, right. For, for fun photos. And then when you bend this in, are you doing heat bending of the EVA foam in between? No. So, no. so the first version I made with what was I found 
pretty quickly, almost the last of my EVA foam. <laughs> it's my mock-up. Um, I, uh, I missed, I, I made a, 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 an error, which is why it's a mock-up. Um, but I cut everything kind of on a curve already uh, to begin with, and I needed to start flat. So once I figured that out, um, oh, to start flat, it makes then, sense that you'd think you'd have to cut on a right, curve. Yeah. Um, but once I started getting everything together and and kind of testing how it was going to sit on the armature wire, it was bending in weird places and not really sitting. It looked like it was yeah crimping in weird places. So then I went back to you know what a bat looks like when the bats wings are expanded and it's you know it's it's flat yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. a membrane that stretches right i was like okay well let's just pretend this is a membrane and just keep everything flat and then i can compress everything um and then i didn't mention but here's my little study oh wow so, i thought this was an action figure i hadn't well it, zoned... it is no, was. I, I get that it's he he hella <laughs> hella without her head yeah she had long hair so i had to take it off so on this, um, this was my oh. study to see how I could do this so that I could take the wings apart. Wow. And then I realized that, so you can kind of expand that. Yeah. It's like, oh, that's actually exactly what I want. It's just masking <laughs> tape. And then that's where all the little knuckles, kind of just uh, figuring out where everything went. This is like, this <laughs> it's also really fun. legit, really <laughs> <Yeah>. fine, <laughs> high level model, model making, Beth. This is amazing. <laughs> Holy cow. I love that. Thank you so much. And then you're able just to, and because you've already done Hella, you know that this is your size. That this right, is, yeah. exactly. And I do have another one of these. Um, she just had to lose her head and her arm fell off at one point too, but she's functional in that form uh, uh, for this project. But yeah, without this, I'd, I would have had a much harder understanding of how, how these wings um, needed to go together. This is great. It's a great example too of like, it can't really get built until you have the whole thing in here. Right. Until you really understand the whole structure in your head. Right. And uh, as soon as I did this, this only took me maybe 30 minutes to do because it just needed to be messy and I kind of had fun with it. Yeah. Um, but then after that, I had a big, a, a nice solid kind of uh, direction to go in yeah. with how I was going to tackle the, the build, even though I did have to make, you know, another mock-up and almost ran out of EVA film. <laughs> and time so you, because I spent so much time on my jacket. But <laughs> so you built you built the wings three times then. Uh, tw twice. Okay, twice. Twice. Yes. Um, talk to me about these thumbs. Can I touch these? Yeah, you can take it off actually. What? Yeah. <gasps> it's just foam. Yeah, it's just just foam. I carved uh, some two pieces of foam together mm -hmm. and then used um, foam clay from our friend uh, Stephen. Oh yes. HG foam clay. Yeah. It's great stuff. Um, and sanded it down. Um, and then this is just an EVA foam um, cone. Dude, this is, oh my gosh. I mean, I can it's just tell nice you, having touch. worked in special effects, it <laughs> there are so many more like ridiculous ways to do this. Like <laughs> someone sculpts it, right. someone molds yeah. it, someone casts it, oh. etc. This is all just additive building and I'm it's not... perfect. Yes, the and there's a lot of additive building on the on the elbows and the shoulders. Um, that was a really interesting process, and I even have little. You probably can't even tell because this is what we do, right? Yeah. We, we put <laughs> details underneath things where people can't see. But right, right. We've got little knuckle, oh. little uh, anatomy. Yes, and then yeah. this webbing here. You've got that. Yes. That also is structural. It helps. It is. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit of Sintra. Oh. Dude, I love that. And then those don't get damaged in That's the golf right. bag. Yes. Yep. Um, last part, the wig. Yes. So I did not style the wig. I had help. Sure. Uh, uh, her name is. We Pleas all need Pleas help. <laughs> yes. Um, I've got. I've got my strengths. <laughs> I have my strengths. Um, but my friend Pleasant Hiss, she uh, graciously agreed to style this for me. I had the wig, and I was trying, and I was struggling. It's like I really need to finish the wigs, and. Um, I don't like to ask for help, or at least I don't. I don't do it very often. Probably not as often as, as I should. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to ask her to do wigs for me from now on because uh, she really did a great job. The this little detail in the front uh, yeah. is a nice little homage to the um, to the devil. Yeah. Really, it's a oh, beautiful. Right, where the horns yeah, would go. Yeah, where the horns would go. That's brilliant. Yeah, so she nailed it. Wigs are. A the topography of wigs are something that I like. I, I'm mystified by. It's like watching people play golf. I oh, don't understand golf. Yeah. I understand it, but it it's like magic yeah. to me. Wigs are the same. Yeah, it's uh, fiber art. Yeah, and, yeah, that you wear on your head. Yeah, I 
I'm now, the same. <laughs> it is amazing. Also, you changed into it fairly quickly. Is this an easy costume to travel with and don and off? Yes, it's just a it's just a jacket. I have a corset underneath that I purchased, and then I reinforced with more corset uh, boning. In order to be able to hold yeah, this up Yeah, without... and then there's just a few little pockets that are two pockets in the back um, that hold the little, the wings up. These things, mm -hmm. what are they called? The structures. The, the, the... Yes. <laughs> Those things. <laughs> yes. It yeah. is an amazing costume. I thank you thank so you. much for bringing it here. It's just thank fantastic. Thank you. This is the first time I've worn the whole thing. Oh, how exciting! Yes. Oh, amazing! Yes, I'm very um, happy to be here. Oh, it's everything about it is wonderful. <laughs> thank you so much for bringing thank it. Thank you. Us. Thanks for letting me be here. Oh, dude, anytime. <laughs> These are incredible.